Hi, it's Mr. Anderson and this is AP Physics Essentials video 19. It's on electric permittivity, which is best understood when you're looking at capacitance. And so for this video, I created a capacitor out of three layers, two layers of Reynolds wrap, which are good conductors, and then one layer of plastic wrap in the middle, which has a higher permittivity. And so in order to make this work uh, and make it a little bit more portable, I rolled the whole thing up and so it looks like that. If you look at a real uh, capacitor, it's gonna be rolled up, but it's essentially the same thing. You have conductors on either side and then something insulative uh, in the middle. And so let's look at this video for just a second. And right now I'm hooking up my capacitor to a multimeter and you can see that there's no electric charge on the inside. Now I'm connecting it to a couple of batteries. So I'm adding charge now to the capacitor and now I'm gonna hook it up to the multimeter and you can see that the charge increased really quickly. And so I had stored charge in just this little amount of Reynolds wrap and plastic wrap. You can see it's kind of discharging now. And so what is permittivity? Well, if you have an electric field like this, matter has an ability to resist that electric field and that resistance to an electric field is called its permittivity and so the permittivity of free space would be the resistance offered by just a vacuum between those two conducting plates and so that's a constant value that we can compare other materials to and so if we have other materials their permittivity is based on their structure, so their atomic or molecular structure, is gonna be variable, and as we vary the permittivity, we can make a capacitor that is more or less efficient. And so um, let's look at a real basic capacitor, and that'll show you the elements of capacitance. This is what they look like today. So if we zoom in like this, what you have are two conducting plates on either side, so those are connected with wires. And then in the middle, we have a dielectric, and so that's gonna be an insulator. It's something that we can resist that uh, electric field forming in that capacitor. And so if we look at basic free space permittivity, so what we would have in the middle now is going to be just a vacuum. And so what we do is, uh, as we hook it up to voltage, you're gonna see that there's an electric field across that gap. And that's the free space permittivity, or sometimes we refer to it as the dielectric constant. And so for a vacuum, it's going to be one. Uh, air is gonna be slightly higher than one, but it's gonna be pretty close to one. And so what happens when we add a dielectric in the middle, when we add an insulator in the middle? Well, that's gonna be made of atoms, and atoms are made up of protons and electrons. And what happens is as that field moves through the dielectric, what it does is it shifts the electrons. So the electrons are actually being shifted, in this case, to the left, and that creates an opposite field, which cancels out that electric field. And so if you add a dielectric between these two conducting plates, what you're doing is resisting that uh, electric field. And what that does is build up a charge on either side. And that's how we're storing that energy. And so we now see that we have a dielectric constant that's going to be higher than our constant, which was one. And so if we look at this PHET simulation, we have a capacitor here in the middle, and so we're gonna add a little bit of voltage to it. And you can see that charge is starting to build up on both sides of that plate. Now if we take a dielectric and slide it in the middle, well, this dielectric is just free space. And so you can see that it didn't change the capacitance. But if I start to increase the permittivity, watch what happens to the charge on the plates. So now we're at two, and now we're at three, and now we're at four. You can see charge is building up on the plate. And each material, Teflon 2.1, paper 3.5, glass 4.7, is going to have a different constant. And if I pull that dielectric out, then our capacitant drops down to zero. And so did you learn that electric permittivity increases resistance in the electric field? We can use it to make a capacitor, which could be made simply out of Reynolds wrap and plastic wrap. I hope so, and I hope that was helpful.